hello listeners and uh, welcome to the Golden Joysticks 2012 edition. Um, we're going to be talking about the action adventure uh, shortlist category today uh, and with me I've got uh, the mighty Matt Pellet of Games Master fame, who uh, Games Master of course is uh, the sort of uh, force behind the Golden Joysticks and I've got uh, the lovely Alex Dale and Ian Wilson from CVG and many other disreputable sites. <laughs> hello, so, Rob. hello guys. Hello. Hi. So, action adventure, who's going who's gonna to win, why should they win? What do you reckon? It's an interesting category. It's a uh, real sort of mix between real big hitters like Batman and Uncharted and pro proper dark horses such as Dead Island and Prototype 2. And I wonder if a winner's not going to come out of left field. Um, Dead Island was a real sort of Marmite game, to sort of use a cliche, but really struck a chord with a lot of people. And Prototype 2 is probably one of the best superhero um, open world games that we've seen in a long time. It's certainly more so than the likes of Amazing Spider-Man. I, I think it might be uh, a surprise winner. It's a real divisive list. I think like every game there has its own block of fans. Uh, for very different reasons, and you've got your obvious big hitters. I mean, games such as Assassin's Creed and Skyward Sword and Uncharted 3 and Batman, like these were topping the most wanted game last year at the awards. Yep. Like these, yep. they were in the most wanted category, whereas maybe games like The Serious Wrath and Prototype 2 weren't, perhaps. But that's not to say that when they came out, like those games that weren't in that list last year, didn't find an audience. They certainly did. I mean, Prototype Saints, so all, the, all these games were really well received. Absolutely. And, and it's an interesting mix. I mean, yeah, there, there are some, some obvious you know, blockbuster favourites. I would say The Return of Zelda with the, you know, the, the Wii uh, Motion Plus is, is a huge, one of the huge favourites for sure. But uh, yeah, I think Alex is right. Don't, don't write off the others just yet. My particular, not, not vote per se, but I've got, I've got two real soft spots here. One's for Azura's Wrath and the other's for Sonic Generations. I mean, being honest, you know, it's going to take a real mobilisation by the particular fan communities in the case of Sonic and God knows who's going to... God knows how Azura's <laughs> Wrath is going to topple something like Uncharted or Batman, but they bring a... Especially Azura's Wrath brings a certain originality to, to sort of the action-adventure market. That, that, and I think it's great to champion these sort of smaller titles. Um, Prototype 2 is another one, you know, it, obviously that Radical have, have unfortunately sort of closed doors since, since uh, Prototype 2 came out, but it's a... It's a really great example of how to do a, a sandboxer so effectively. Yeah, exactly. Um, I say there's 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 a lot of big hitters in there, but and even uh, games like um, games like Saints Row the Third was uh, was a game that I really enjoyed personally playing. Um, it was just a sort of a break from the sort of gritty sort of GTA realism and, and just going out and having a bit of fun. And I think a lot of people would have picked that title up and, and just had fun with it. So that, that might be in people's sort of memory I as well. I think co-op's a big thing as well. I mean, uh, you know, there's a real trend for co-op gaming these days. And uh, I mean, I, I had such fun co-oping uh, Dead Island and Saints Row. Um, you know, to the extent that that, that fun that you can have like, with, a, with, a, with a fellow gamer is almost takes you part up you know, past the kind of amazing single player experiences that Arkham City and, and Zelda and Uncharted deliver. Well, this is it. There's a lot, as you say, there's a lot of strong single player experiences in there, but if people have actually gone out and, and, and teamed up with friends and, and had those great co-op experiences, then, then that might sort of help push it forward um, in their mind and, and, and get them some more votes. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like I said, it'd be really, what I want to see as well is, is you know, the fan communities behind Zelda, Uncharted, Batman, Assassin's Creed. It'd be really interesting seeing them kind of go up against each other and just see in terms of block voting, who's going to who's gonna amass the biggest Goodness number. Goodness there's millions of them. The interesting thing here, we've got obviously one major Nintendo title in Zelda. We've got one major Sony title mm. in, in, in Uncharted. There isn't a Microsoft one, but, you know, both Arkham City and Assassin's Creed Revelations have got millions upon millions of fans yeah. uh, and like you say like putting those four almost head to head in a, in a vote is it's going to be an interesting one I, I, it's so tough to call I would say in conclusion it's one of the most open um, lists of recent times I'd say about six of the, six or maybe seven of the games of a realistic shot at winning it yeah absolutely I think I think this is definitely going to be one of the, the kind of closest and definitely one of the most voted for categories Okay, so in conclusion, guys, and, and this is not your personal choice, but who do you actually think is going to win it? Uh, Ian? Um, I'm going to go with uh, Batman Arkham City. Good choice. I think Assassin's Creed is going to shade it. Thank you very much, Alex. I, I see all the Nintendo boys rallying around Skyward Sword myself. I think I'm probably going to side with you, Matthew, there, so my vote uh, goes to uh, Zelda. So what are you waiting for, guys? Uh, the, the site, Golden Joystick dot com uh, is, is open now you can also vote on facebook now um, and please don't forget to visit our, our facebook and our, and our twitter presence as well because there's loads of compos going on and loads of great debate there so uh yeah get involved